Yo, what is going on guys? It is Aeros and I am back with another video. For today's video, we are starting off with some breaking news in the NBA. If you haven't heard, you're about to hear right now, Chris Paul has been traded to the Houston Rockets. Now, Paul, this trade, ha it has officially been confirmed that it will happen. However, it hasn't actually happened yet due to the fact that the Clippers are just literally just waiting for Chris Paul to opt out of his Clippers contract, which he stated he will and become a free agent. So we're just waiting for Chris Paul to literally, I guess, maybe sign something to do that. And then the trade is official. So let me break down for you the details of this major trade. So Chris Paul will be heading to the Houston Rockets in return for Patrick Beverly, Sam Decker, Lou Williams, and a 2018 first round pick that will all be going to the Clippers. Now, me personally, I feel like I have two opinions on this. One opinion is that I don't feel like Chris Paul is the greatest fit for Houston, and I don't think it nearly puts them over the hump to get uh, past Golden State or even San Antonio. However, whenever you can add Chris Paul to your team, it's certainly an upgrade. But I don't know. I feel like Houston is... They actually hit more threes, I'm pretty sure, than Golden State last year. So they were honestly, I think, the best three-point shooting team in the league, as surprising as that sounds. Um, so I don't know. Chris Paul, he can hit threes, but that's not really his style. So I don't know if he's he plays more of a slower-paced you know, game. So I don't know if that's going to mess up with the Rockets' formation. You know, how is how are Harden and Chris Paul going to share the ball on the, at the same time on the floor? Because Harden's usually the floor general, now Chris Paul's going to be. So obviously it's an upgrade, but I don't know how exactly it's going to upgrade them when it comes to facing Golden State, a fast team like that, or maybe the, against the Spurs it would help them because the Spurs are more a nitty-gritty, defensive-minded team. But I can't see them getting past Golden State even with this move. Like, no chance. I still see them losing in five games maybe six at most so yeah that's that's my opinion on Chris Paul to the Rockets now let's talk about the Clippers and what they got back I mean if I were a Los Angeles Clippers fan I'd be kind of pissed off about what I got back I mean Patrick Beverly he's a nice player you know defender you know not much of a score but he's a nice defender uh, you got Sam Decker young player you're not really sure what he's going to be so you're sort of skeptical on that Lou Williams he's an older veteran three-point shooter so you know what you're getting in him and a 2018 first round pick from uh Houston which is not going to be a high pick in the first round you know it's going to be toward the bottom of the first round so I don't know I think the Clippers got a little screwed here on Chris Paul if I were a fan I'd be kind of angry thinking you know we should have gotten a lot more maybe you know more picks or maybe turn this into a three-team trade where they can get more better picks I don't know I feel like the Clippers should now just trade Blake Griffin and uh before he signs somewhere else so they can at least get something good in return for him so without further ado guys let me know what you guys think of uh this Chris Paul trade do you think it's gonna upgrade Houston enough to even get past Golden State or do you think it's just I don't know just one of those nice trades that look flashy but won't really turn out to be anything in the NBA so definitely let me know drop a comment down below subscribe if you are new and uh, whenever you hear about big trades uh, guys come right to the channel I'll be breaking them down as soon as they happen and uh, yeah stay tuned for more videos and peace out